total quality management at all critical points is ensured during mango juice production for the safe and health production. After making sure that the mangoes have been stored well, ripened, sorted and washed thoroughly, the next point is processing. The clean mangoes are then pushed to the food processing area by the conveyors. The blancher softens the skin of the mango before it is forwarded for destoning. In order to avoid human contact with the product, the seed of the mango is removed by the machine known as destoner. The seed of the, the mango is it's discarded and we remain with the flesh part of the mango. And uh, this flesh part of the mango goes to the pulp, pulping machine which squeezes the juice out of it. After squeezing, the puree will then be sent to the finisher for filtering. When the pulp has done its job, the juice comes out, but it's very concentrated. It has a lot of fiber in it, and we'd want it to be more fine for the consumer. So we have a sieve, an automatic sieve. It uh, removes the most of the fiber and you remain with just the liquid part. The next stage involves pasteurizing, sterilizing, and more filtering. Microorganisms are all over, so you cannot uh, say that the fruit that come in is safe. When fruit come in, even from the, the fruit itself from the tree may be clean, okay, but the handlers, the environment, you know, everything that involved there affects the safety of the fruit. So when it comes in, even the personnel, even the environment, you never know. Somewhere, somehow, it's not always as safe as expected. So that's why we pasteurize and sterilize to destroy any available microorganism or reduce it to the recommended levels. But in most cases, it just destroys. And you will still protect the nutritional aspect of the food, of the juice. The system here is automated. The temperatures are set and controlled and the valves also work in coordination with the temperature. So there's when, for example, you are sterilizing the product, if it doesn't reach the set temperature of 105 or 100 degrees, the valve will not open. So you have to ensure preventive maintenance is done so that these things work. So the valve cannot open if the product is not sterilized. So in other words, you are sure of getting a safe product. If it's not safe, it will not be released. Since at this stage of process the mango is bare, a lot of precaution is taken with less or no human contact to the machines that come in contact with the food. And the surrounding should be very clean. Yeah, we have ISO 22000, that's a food safety management system where we control, we, have, we identify risks, these are hazards, and then we manage and control them. We have the, the physical risks, uh, hazards, we have chemical hazards and biological hazards. Physical hazards are personnel. Hey, unwanted material, nails, you know, earrings, you know, such things. Soil, sand, those are physical. Then uh, we have to manage that. We use what we call PRPs, prerequisite programs. These are that have been established. For example, personal hygiene. We ensure that uh, personnel know what they're supposed to be doing. They have to be trained, continuous training. It's all about training. People need to be trained to understand these things. So you teach them, teach them, talk to them. Until you, and put up uh, control measures as well. Ensure that what you've told them is extra, exactly what is being done. Production. Relevant quality issues. Pasteurizing, sterilizing, destroying microorganisms. Calibration of autoclaves, contra temperature. Comply with food safety standards ISO 22000, including risk management. Continuous training of personnel. Important East African community standards. Hygiene in the food and drink manufacturing industry. Code of practice. Food manufacturing companies shall have a written policy for hygiene and good manufacturing practices. The company policy shall detail issues of hygiene, food safety, personal hygiene, pest control, cleaning, storage, distribution and transport among others. The requirements concerning zoning of areas, provision of adequate services, location of premises and structures and equipment fruit juices and nectars have the essential physical, chemical, nutritional characteristics, color, 
aroma and flavor of juice from the same kind of fruits from which it is made, have a uniform appearance and consistency and characteristics of the product, have not undergone any kind of deterioration or spoilage, be clean and free from foreign matter, contamination below acceptable levels. To make sure the product is safe with a desired test to this stage, several tests are done. In the next video, we're learning of these tests and much more.